Hi, my name is Jessica. I'm the founder of Kingston Animal Rescue. We're here today to start a new series, Kingston Animal Rescue TV. We're going to be doing a weekly series here featuring an animal so that you can get to meet them. Uh, and we're looking forward to it. Today we've got Barbara here with Binky. He's a wonderful little bunny. Came with the Sudbury Bunnies, which uh, was a big case. And Barbara, you're uh, going to tell us a little bit about. Um, now, what would you say? Do you want to describe her personality? Or? Um, well, she's very special to me. I must say, um, when we're playing, uh, she has a nickname, Binky Boo, and she's inquisitive. Very gentle, very laid back, uh, likes cuddling. Huh. Not so much being held, but likes her cuddles. And um, happy bunny, by and large. Good, good. I mean, that's how she got her name, Binky, because it's a little maneuver that bunnies make when they're very happy, almost. find it hard to describe. It's sort of a jumping up and a twisting in the air. And she is a little happy bunny. <laughs> so she's an expert at that then. Oh, she's an good, expert. Good, good. And uh, what would you say uh, would be the best home for her? You know, I think she's kind of flexible because um, on my own, I have a, a very large, ferocious bird <laughs> that she's become very used to, and also cats and kittens. Um, in terms of uh, family presences, gee, the only thing I don't know about ch is children because I don't have any, but she's very social with any of the adult visitors that I have in my home. So I think, um, you know, safely I can say um, with adult family, but because she's so adaptable, I don't think she mind uh, children either. Good, yeah. good. And would you say, uh, what would you say is her favorite things to do besides cuddling and binking? Does she have a favorite food or? Um, well, you know, in the morning, uh, she is fed uh, the pellets. And actually throughout the day, you know, if I want to play with her, I'll say binky up. And she will get up on her hind legs and almost sort of beg for whatever it is. But she could also beg for a pellet which is normal everyday food, or for her lettuce, I normally give her romaine. And if I have dandelions in the backyard, I'll bring <laughs> them in for her. That sort of a treat. She likes parsley. Pretty well all the um, recommended recommended uh, greens yeah. um, she will eat. Good, good. I had to be careful about some of my plants too, you know. <laughs> Lifted them up off the ground in case oh, yeah. she started exploring. But I've uh, been very fortunate. Yeah, she's got a good appetite <laughs> and her hay, of course. Yeah, oh, that's so good. All right, so Barbara, what, um, how did you come across uh, the idea of fostering a rabbit? Um, I had fostered for other organizations before and I was in a lull, meaning they didn't need my assistance. And um, I don't know where I came across it, maybe online. And uh, I completed a registration form online mm -hmm. on a Sunday. And lo and behold, on <laughs> Monday, I had a bunny in my home, you know. Sure. So that's right. And that was uh, the very harsh time that Mm -hmm. you and your group went through when 25 bunnies came to Kingston. So I think it was kind of unusual how I got recruited. Yeah. Um, but certainly, you know, I've loved fostering and the bunny is a new experience for me. But uh, again, uh, thinking about, you know, other people, I guess once you're involved, you tend to have uh, an awareness and see advertising in different places. But you know, if I were somebody, like if somebody liked Binky and they said, where did you get her and all the rest of that, 
certainly I'd say Kingston Animal Rescue, but you know, I think I would refer them to your website first. Uh, I mean, I could give out telephone numbers of you or your other founders, but I really think the website gives an opportunity to learn about rabbits anyhow and mm -hmm. see what your organization does. Yeah. And for somebody who's never done it before, um, I wouldn't hesitate. I wouldn't hesitate. They're very, very simple, in my opinion, to care yeah. for. Very clean, very neat, very tidy. I think that's probably surprising for most people that they are so tidy and mm -hmm. litter train and her being spayed and everything really that's makes right. a difference. Yep. I'm amazed that, um, and I guess a selling point is, uh, I find personally, that their litter does not smell. <laughs> and that's a big <laughs> bonus for yeah. me, okay? Anybody with a sensitive nose would think that that's a big bonus. But for yes, sure. very, very clean. They groom themselves all the time. They're not messy with their food. Um, the hay gets a little bit spread around, but normally it stays right in there litter box and yeah so I find it very easy to care for good. a rabbit good well it seems like you definitely came at the right time to get a rabbit we definitely mm -hmm. needed you and uh, always could use more foster homes uh, so thank you so much for being on Kingston Animal Rescue TV and for bringing Binky Boo yeah what a sweetheart very available for adoption ready to go very flexible in what home we're looking for so if you're interested, you can go to www.kingstonanimalrescue.com. And uh, thanks for joining our show. We'll be back again next week. Have a wonderful Easter, and, uh, and make sure that you uh, don't uh, give anybody an Easter bunny, as that's a lot of the time where we get them. So thanks again, and uh, we'll see you next week.